time for under 30. We're going to discuss VinFast Auto, stock ticker VFS, Alex Coffey, Jenny Horn. Jenny, stock's down 7%, and that isn't really the story because I guess the last, let's call it a week or so, the stock's relatively moved sideways, but wow, what a debut and the roller coaster ride it's been. Remember we were saying it was valued at one of the highest levels of really all of the auto names, and that was somewhat of a mystery because it was relatively new to the public sphere, so now it's pulled back about 54% at least so far this month. Now this name does not have specific analyst coverage yet, but the one analyst we heard from doesn't seem to like what he's seeing so far. So here to tell us more on this news, I'd like to welcome in George Tillis, Senior Markets Correspondent for the network. So George, I know that a lot of times you look at companies' balance sheets, the fundamentals. I did a brief overview and I have to imagine that you're also not really loving what you're seeing. Well, look, yeah, I mean, if you look at the the financials all on their own, yeah, there's so there's some problems with the company, but I will say this, you know, VinFast, which is, effectively a Vietnamese automaker. They actually sell a lot of scooters and they actually are also uh, in the business of uh, manufacturing buses. So there's not just passenger vehicles or crossovers and SUVs. They are a real business. They are generating sales. They're expanding very aggressively, but when you expand very aggressively, it comes at a very, very big cost. Now, I will say this, you know, uh, a couple of the things to know from a delivery standpoint, uh, the, the quarter Q2, the company actually uh, delivered 9,500 electric vehicles, so they're on track to deliver between 40 and 50,000 for the full year of 2023, and that was uh, to be expected based on the company's guidance. But if you look at Q1, they delivered only 1,800, so their growth just in one quarter relative to Q1 uh, going into Q2 was almost four times the amount of vehicles. So this is a company that's growing aggressively in total volume sales. Now there are some challenges, the challenges behind, you know, uh, cash flow, there's challenges behind gross margins and profitability, uh, but that's again to be expected considering this company is growing very expansively and aggressively. Now, the other thing is is they're delivering not just in places like Vietnam or Southeast Asia, they're expected to start delivering 3000 vehicles to Europe in Q4. And in fact, in the United States, I haven't seen one, but they've actually delivered 2,100 vehicles. They're also expecting in North Carolina to start production of up to 150,000 vehicles. So if you look at the company's uh, financial footprint for the last quarter, they uh, generated about 334 million in sales. And that was higher by 131% year over year. But the challenge is, is they lost on those sales about 526 million. So that implies that the company has a negative 34 plus percent gross margin. That's where the challenges I think lie for VinFast. Uh, they are expanding aggressively and that's coming at a large expense of the company. Now, in the very long term, that may not necessarily be a bad strategy. In fact, it's probably a good strategy. And I think at the same time, looking at the market capitalization at 36 billion, this is based on yesterday's close, that's pretty immense considering the sales which are, let's call it around 1.3 to 1.5 billion based upon the trailing estimates. Now, at the same time, the company can afford to issue equity, expand their operations, because there's a lot of demand for their stock considering the $36 billion market capitalization or valuation that it's listed for right now. Yeah, and that's what I think was, was so alarming to me, the fact that this company is valued, I mean, pretty much in line with Ford, but Ford sells millions of cars. So it's like, where is that disconnect? But I guess right. this was at one point the story with Tesla, and that was the bearish case, but now the bullish case is this company does a lot more. And like you laid out very nicely, this company is expanding outside of just pure EVs. But we will leave it there. Really great breakdown on a name that has caught our attention just given some of the selling, but it's been a really, really interesting one to watch over the course of its its beginning trading days. George Hill, Senior Markets Correspondent for the Network.